Thank you, Tube. It's me, your boy. B to the three to the three to the B to the three 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 B to the three three B B B B to the three three. And uh, I'm here with another movie reaction, you know, review thing. And this is yet another Man Eater three pack review. And uh, this time we're going to talk about Roadkill. And it's a movie about The Rock. A bunch of students go to Europe on like some kind of just fun trip and they rent an RV and everything. And so they get there and they pay this dude for a necklace. And then he doesn't give it to him. He like swaps it with some other necklace. And spoiler alert, this thing's going to be full of spoilers by the way. The necklace actually keeps you protected from The Rock. I think I already did a video on Stands of Oblivion, and I talked about an amulet that protected them from that. But I kind of just watched all these and then started making these videos. So I might have accidentally got that part stuck in Stands of Oblivion, but it's for this film, I believe. I don't think there was actually a pendant that did that in Stands of Oblivion. I think the pendant in Stands of Oblivion actually brought bad luck. Uh, I just can't remember right now. But uh, the pendant actually protects you from the rock. If you're cursed, the rock comes after you. And so... Uh, since they pulled the switcheroo on her, she like went in the complaint and swiped the necklace off of him, like pulled it off of his uh, person. I don't think she pulled it off his neck. I think he like held it up and was like mocking her, and then she swiped it. But um, so then they run off, hop in the RV, and try to speed off to go. But they hit an old gypsy woman, and as she's dying, she she curses them. She she curses them to be killed by the by the rock. And so, uh, they spend the whole movie really just running from this giant bird. And, you know, that guy and his family are after him because they're all cursed by the rock too. So, they need that pendant because the pendant protects, you know, whoever has it and the people kind of near them. And, it's pretty wild actually. I... I thought it was neat, because you're like, who's going to live? Who's going to die? You don't know. I mean, you know most of the party's going to die, obviously. But, it's just, it's crazy. It goes all over the place. There's even one part where a police officer finds them, and they're like, oh, thank God it's you. These people are trying to kill us. And I know you won't believe this, but there's this giant bird after us, too. And the cop's like, all right, all right, let's 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 go back to the station or whatever, and then we'll talk about it. And then he starts shooting at him. He just starts shooting at him, because he wants to pin it, too, because... Uh, everyone, like, freaking knows The Rock is real. <laughs> and they want that protection pendant. So they can't really turn to anyone. Uh, but eventually, you know, they take it down and get away from it and stuff. And really only one guy survives. And it's, oddly enough, the guy that killed the gypsy woman while driving. Um, and, you know, he doesn't really make it. The last thing you see is The Rock get him. So you can't escape the rock at all. It's like a mystical thing. It wasn't a, a mortal creature, I guess. Or maybe there was multiple rocks, but I don't think that was the case. I think it was a mystic thing. Not bad, though. Enjoyable, I would have to say. Uh, not too bad. Sorry I'm not real enthusiastic right now. It's nighttime. I'm tired. I might have to go to the doctor in the morning. But, yeah, that's it. I'm not going to do a video on Ferocious Planet. I never watched it. I just didn't. I just didn't feel like watching it for some reason. I don't know. I'm gonna give you the read up for Roadkill real quick, uh, just for shits. Uh, an exciting road trip across Ireland's countryside takes a dark turn as a group of friends have a hostile encounter with a pack of mysterious gypsies. Now plagued with a black mark of death, they are doomed to be stalked and terrorized by the mystical bird of prey, whose insatiable appetite for human flesh is more than just urban legend. <laughs> But yeah, I'm going to read you Ferocious Planets, too, since I'm not going to do that one. As a team of observers gathers around a device that will open a window to another dimension, mankind's biggest moment quickly mutates into a fearsome game of survival. Transported to a nightmarish alien world populated with unearthly, manian creatures, this group must do everything they can to fix the machine before they are trapped there forever. Yeah. So it's not alien world like as in outer space, it's just alien world as in outside. Because it's another dimension. Uh, the creatures look neat. But I'm going to toss it. If I want to watch it, I think I saw it on Netflix the other day. So I could always find it on Netflix, I guess, if it's there. 
But uh, that's it. If it's on Netflix, I'll watch it and then I'll do do one of it. But I'm getting rid of this DVD set tomorrow. I'm taking it to Movie Stop, which is like GameStop but for movies, but with more fair trade in value. They take them for like you know nothing, but at the same time, look what they sell them for. That's like the average right there. I have one over here that was two ninety nine. Look at this sucker. So, yeah, you know, that's it. Thank you all very much for your support, and um, I'll get you another one of these soon. Have a good one.